The deep sea is a realm of mystery, where the world as we know it ends and something far stranger begins. Imagine plunging into darkness so profound that sunlight fades completely, and the only illumination comes from the eerie glow of creatures whose very existence defies reason. Welcome to the deep sea, a place colder than ice, darker than night, and filled with giants that seem plucked from the pages of science fiction. Our descent begins in the epipelagic zone, where the ocean is vibrant, teeming with life, and fueled by the sun's energy. Here, creatures thrive in a kaleidoscope of colors, from schools of shimmering fish to coral reefs alive with motion. But this paradise doesn't last. As we dive deeper, the light dims, and we enter the mesopelagic zone, also known as the twilight zone. Photosynthesis becomes impossible, and the world takes on an otherworldly hue. Below this, at 1,000 meters, sunlight vanishes entirely, giving way to the midnight zone. In this abyss of eternal night, bioluminescence reigns supreme. Flickering lights from anglerfish lures and glowing squid skins serve as the only beacons in a world of crushing darkness. And crush it does. The pressure here is immense, the temperatures near freezing. Yet the ocean keeps plunging, deeper and deeper into the abyss epelagic zone, where depths can reach a staggering 6,000 meters. This abyss accounts for 60% of Earth's surface, making it the largest ecosystem on the planet. But even this is not the ocean's final frontier. Below 6,000 meters, we arrive at the Hadal Zone, home to the deepest trenches on Earth. Here, in the Mariana Trench, depths stretch to nearly 11,000 meters, where the weight of the water above is an unfathomable 1,100 times the atmospheric pressure at sea level. And yet, against all odds, life persists. Strange, terrifying, and gigantic life. The deep sea is a kingdom of leviathans, giant squid, colossal isopods, Greenland sharks, and Japanese spider crabs, creatures so enormous they seem to mock the very idea of survival in such an unforgiving place. This phenomenon, called deep sea gigantism, challenges everything we know about evolution. Why, in a world so cold and barren, do such giants thrive? The answer begins with food, or the lack of it. Below 400 meters, sunlight disappears and with it, the algae and plankton that form the foundation of the ocean's food web. Instead, most life in the deep relies on marine snow, a macabre rain of dead plankton, feces and decaying bodies that drifts down from the surface. For some, like the vampire squid, survival means adaptations designed to catch every scrap. With long, filament-like appendages, these squid snatch particles as they drift by, sustaining themselves in an environment where food is scarce. For others, survival means turning the tables. Giant squid, for instance, have evolved into apex predators, using their enormous tentacles to ambush fish and other squid. These enigmatic creatures were once so elusive that they remained unphotographed in their natural habitat until 2004. Measuring up to 13 meters long and weighing 275 kilograms, the giant squid is a marvel of the deep, but it's not even the biggest. That title belongs to the colossal squid, the largest invertebrate on Earth. Found at depths of over 2,000 meters, these Antarctic behemoths weigh up to 700 kilograms and possess eyes the size of dinner plates, the largest in the animal kingdom. Yet, their lives are far from the ferocious image of a deep sea monster. With a metabolism so slow they burn just 45 calories a day, colossal squid are patient predators, waiting in the shadows for prey to wander too close. They embody a fundamental truth of the deep sea. Energy efficiency is survival. And it's not just the squid. 
Greenland sharks, the longest living vertebrates on the planet, owe their astonishing lifespans, up to 500 years, to their slow metabolisms. These ancient giants drift through the icy depths, scavenging carcasses and feeding opportunistically. But even they face unique challenges, like crustaceans that attach to their eyeballs, rendering them blind. It's a haunting image, blind giants navigating a frozen, pitch-black world. As we dive deeper, we encounter even stranger creatures like the supergiant amphipods of the Hadal Trenches. Typically, no larger than a grain of rice, amphipods here grow up to 34 centimeters, the size of guinea pigs. Similarly, their cousins, the giant isopods, reach lengths of 50 centimeters, dwarfing the tiny pill bugs they resemble. These scavengers gorge themselves when food is available, sometimes to the point of immobility, storing energy to survive years of famine. But how do these giants endure such scarcity? Recent studies reveal a surprising answer. Some Hadal amphipods possess unique enzymes capable of breaking down cellulose, allowing them to digest driftwood that sinks to the ocean floor. In a world where survival hinges on every available resource, even wood becomes food. Yet this delicate ecosystem teeters on the brink. Overfishing, plastic pollution, climate change, and deep sea mining threaten these extraordinary creatures. The deep sea may feel alien, but it's intrinsically connected to our world. The balance of life above and below the waves is intertwined, and as we disrupt one, we endanger the other. It's a sobering thought, but also a call to action. These depths, filled with bioluminescent wonders and ancient giants, remind us of the ocean's unparalleled beauty and mystery. They challenge us to preserve its marvels, inhabit it, but for ourselves. After all, in the deep sea, life finds a way. And perhaps, if we look closely, it might just teach us how to do the same. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe to support our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. See you next time.